let's talk about loop over items node in NA10. Now this is a node that not many people are showing in their workflows, but this is also a node that is very, very useful, okay? Here in front of me, you can see a simple workflow. The workflow consists of a Google Sheet, of loop over items node, and a Gmail node right here, which sends a message, okay? Now in the Google Sheet, what we have is, as you can see, we have a Google Sheets account. Obviously we authorize the account via authorization here. Uh, we've added mode every minute. From a list, we have a document which looks like this. So we have a name, we have an email, and we have a message. I put the email to be my own email just because I don't wanna message other people currently. And I wanna show you this from my inbox in uh, my email. So as you can see, I have a name, Alice. We have uh, her email or my email in this case. We have a message right here. We have the same for Bob as well and we same for Charlie. Obviously it's a different message, different uh, you know message body. And what we did is we added here names. We had a cheat one and this is what we're getting right here, okay? So this is very simple and self-explanatory. Now what we have is we have a loop over items node. Now, what this node does is we're sending information to loop over items node, and we're looping the information back to the loop over items node. So essentially what we're doing is we have a batch size here. A batch size means how many uh, different data points are we going to be looping, okay? If we loop it one time, we're going to just uh, get the Alice. If we're looping three times, we're going to get Alice, Bob, and Charlie. If we're looping two times, we're getting Alice and Bob only, okay? So that's exactly how this node works. As you can see, we have one of fourth item, second of fourth item, third, third of fourth item, and then fourth of fourth item, which is all three items right here, as you can see, okay? So for example, if I delete this, and if I just go and if I test this right here, as you can see, what we'll do is it's not done. So it will not send it to a Gmail node. And right here, I only get Alice because it's one batch size. But if we go and if we connect this back to the node itself, if we play it, it's going to be adding multiple different, right now it's not adding, but if we test the workflow right here, as you can see, it's going to be going through all three and it will send that to my email right here, as you can see. We have your awesome Charlie, we have hello Alice, and we have welcome Bob, obviously with this right here, but we can also change that in our Gmail node, okay? So that's exactly how loop over items node works. It's very simple. Uh, again, this can be used when you have a lot of data points. For example, I wanna send like multiple different emails um, and I already have like messages, but you know, I don't wanna, I can just go and connect Google Sheet node to a Gmail node, right? because that won't work. I need the uh, to, like I need the Gmail node to be dynamically populated via JSON email, but I also want it to be sending to Alice, Bob and Charlie, not just Charlie, not just Alice and not just Bob, okay? So that's why we have a loop over items node right here and it's really important that you have a loop so that it's looping. If if you don't have loop, it's not looping, right? You can also add batch size to be 2 if you're adding two right here, let's see what happens. So if we click here, as you can see, it will just loop three right here. Uh, but currently that's really not an issue. We can just put one because in most cases you will put a batch size one. Uh, as you can see, this is the number of items to return with each call. So essentially if you have one and if it's looping, it will loop until all of the items are completed right here, okay? So that's essentially what a loop over items node is and how you can use it in NA10. If you have any specific questions, comment below and I would be able to answer it. And also, if you wanna check out more courses, more stuff, more educational material around AI, visit our free group or our premium group on school. So thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one.